Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. Neil Gray has got his job cut out for him. Barely a week into the job and the figures have revealed that nursing applications have fallen yet again. That's three years running. Nobody, it seems, wants to become a nurse in Scottish NHS. And you have to ask why. Presumably the job's too hard, it's too stressful, you'd be understaffed on the wards and of course anything you do earn is going to be taxed at a much higher rate. So if you've gone through all the training, all the effort, all the qualifications and why would you go and work in a Scottish hospital when you can go and work in an English one and take home far more money for a lot less strength, uh, stress as well. It's something that uh, Gray will have to address but does he have the skill set available to him? I think not. He certainly doesn't have the budget and he doesn't have the authority. He's a man completely out of his depth with a problem that is probably unsolvable while Shona Robertson refuses to cough up the cash. Let's have a look, see what the problem is and see how this will hurt everyone. Here it goes. Right, so NHS are giving a worrying reminder of crisis as the nursing applications fall for the third year running. Now, if you had um, a health minister who, first of all, knew what he was doing and secondly, had the budget to fix it, then it wouldn't be a major problem. Unfortunately, in Neil Gray, you have a man who obviously doesn't have a clue what he's doing. And even if he did, there's just no money because obviously they're spending it on other things like spin doctors, not real doctors. And that, of course, is at the heart of the problem. There is no budget uh, or skill or knowledge or experience. This guy has never run a department like health before. He's only run little, you know, little departments that are mainly box ticking and sign offs, not dealing with real people. And so I don't hold out hope that he will be able to fix anything. But a lack of nurses, of course, is at the very heart of the problem. Without nurses, what's the point of a hospital? It won't work. It won't run. It is basic to the very function of a hospital that it's filled with nurses. They're the ones, after all, who do most of the day-to-day -day jobs in terms of patient care. Anyway, new Health Secretary Neil Gray has been told he has a huge job on his hands to alter the current perception of Scotland's NHS due to the SNP's previous mismanagement of it. 17 years of mismanagement, 17 years of underfunding, 17 years of just making everything awful in Scotland's hospitals. And that is why they're underfunded, that is why they're understaffed, and why there are so many vacancies that are yet going unfilled, because nobody wants to work in them. The stress levels are high and because of the understaffing, it meant that everyone has to work even harder than they possibly would otherwise do. And that creates problems, mental problems, emotional problems, physical problems. And then that leads to more sickness, more absence. It makes the problem even worse. And nobody has ever wanted to fix it. They've talked about it, but they've never actually done anything. Anyway, uh, applicants, uh, applicants sorry, to become nurses have fallen for the third year running in a damning reminder of how damaged the NHS in Scotland truly is. New figures show 4,650 people applied for nursing courses starting this autumn compared to 5,070 the year before, a drop of 8.3%. Potential applicants still have a few more months left to send in their details to be considered for the courses, according to the RCN. However, the college has described the latest figures as extremely worrying, coming after a 24% fall in acceptances onto undergraduate nurse courses in 2023, compared to the year before when there were 6,900, uh, sorry, 6,690 applications. So you've gone down 24%. You've now got another 8.3%. It is a huge drop. It's a massive drop. Uh, but that figure, the 6,690, 
was also down from the previous year, there being 7,920 applications in 2021. Now, you've gone from nearly, what, 7,920, nearly 8,000 to 4,500. That's nearly halfway. It's nearly half the drop. Uh, Scottish Labour health spokesperson Dame Jackie Bailey said, these figures are a damning reminder of how damaged the perception of nursing in Scotland has become under the SNP's watch. Years of seeing our NHS with an understaffed, overstretched nursing workforce has put a generation of young people off entering this fantastic profession. Now, of course, yeah, because they're looking and they're, they're talking to people who are nurses and where it was wonderful uh, years ago, now because of major staff shortages, they're run off their feet. The patients aren't getting the care that they need and deserve and are paying for because you know the, these nurses aren't there to care for them now please understand i am in no way blaming the nurses who are working in a hospital for the lack of the patient care what i'm looking at is all the people who are not working in the hospital for the lack of patient care the half of the uh, the, the nurses that should be there who aren't because they can't fill the vacancies and why can't they because of the stress levels and the bad pay you want to get the nurses in fine get them in pay them more and tax them less make the job less traumatic make the job more humane to everyone because if you have a nurse who's not overworked she's less stressed and the patients get better care and better care is a direct function of getting the they get the patients out of hospital quicker getting a faster throughput of care it's a very simple thing but of course the sa uh, the smp don't see that they would I, I i honestly think that they they work on the principle it is better that a patient dies than is treated because it's a lot cheaper i i i honestly believe that i, I think that's what goes on in their minds uh anyway uh, uh jackie bailey went on neil gray must realise that unless he comes forward with a credible plan that will address staffing shortages and reduce the pressure on our health and social care services, more people will avoid a career in nursing and our NHS will continue to lose out on the dedicated nurses it desperately needs. And boy, does it need them. Uh, Scottish Lib Dem leader and health spokesperson Alex Cole Hamilton said, the, the figures demonstrate newly appointed Health Secretary Neil Gray has his work cut out to address NHS staffing issues. He says this worrying downward trend is part of a vicious cycle. If courses don't fill up, existing staff come under greater pressure and more patients suffer. While we are of the same mind, Mr. Cole Hamilton and I. And that is the problem you've got. It is a, it's, a, it's, it's circling the drain. The NHS is literally circling the drain. And as fewer people go into it and you know the problems exacerbate, the problems get worse... That puts even more stress on those who are in it. They will leave. They will retire early. And particularly there was the massive problem of, of midwives retiring. And they're doing their very best to stop older midwives from retiring. They need the skills. They need the knowledge. They need them. And they're begging them not to retire. But what are they offering them? Same job. Less money because the taxes are going up. And they can't afford to pay them more. Oh, and there's going to be more pressure in the job. And the nurses are going, do you know what? I can just go now, take my pension. I'm fine. I never have to worry about it again. And to be honest, who can blame them? And that's where we're at. Anyway, I shall round off there. I shall come up, which will finish off. But it is a very, very dangerous position to have hospitals without nurses. And that's the direction of travel. Coming up. What can Neil Gray do? He can't up their wages, he can't cut their tax, he can't encourage them in because nobody wants to work there in the first place. It's a vicious circle that will just get worse and worse under his watch. And unless he is um, willing, I suppose, to change the priorities, to cut um, the spending on spin doctors, to force them to stop spending money on independence and tell them, to put it into the NHS, then it's only going to get worse. But does Neil Gray have the balls to say that? Does he have the spine to say to these people that he's sharing a cabinet with, 
Please stop spending money on independence. It's not going to happen. Can we have money in the NHS so I can get more nurses, so I can get more doctors? Well, obviously, no, he doesn't. He, he, hasn't got the, he hasn't got the strength of character to do it. He's a nobody. He's a chum. He's not put in the position of health, uh, se uh, health secretary because he knows what he's doing or he's, you know, in any way competent. He's sitting there because he is a little lickspittle of Hamza Yousaf. Pity the patience. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Do please hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, leave a like, leave a comment, please share the video. And until next time, stay safe, stay well, and I will speak to you later.